Uh, I take it uh, you have a, a predisposition. Well, about the confirmation, I mean. Uh, no, uh, actually, I'm 100% objective. Hmm. You have a dictionary, Mr. Webster? Yeah. Well, take a magic marker. Cross out the word objectivity. Uh, your constituents want you for your, your opinions, your philosophy, for your subjectivity. Very well, Mr. Glenn's expertise. Mr. Glenn, have you ever beaten a prisoner? No, that would be illegal. Not even when provoked? No. You've never hit, kicked, used a blackjack or straight razor? You've never Objection. punched a prisoner in your entire career? Objection, Your Honor. Sustain, confine yourself to one question at a time. Is it not true that you ordered two guards to throw Henry Young down a steel flight of stairs, that you, you smashed his face with a blackjack, that you took a straight razor, sliced open his ankle, hobbling that man for life? That's the truth, isn't it? Answer the Objection, question. Your Honor. The witness has already testified. He's he testified to a lot of things, Your Honor. Mr. Glenn, are you aware that in a federal court system, perjury is a crime? Henry you Young is the one on trial. trial. I'm I'm you, right. young man. I'm the witness. That Henry Young is the one on trial here, not me. I am a, a public servant. I am not the bad guy. I will not be treated the same way as this, this lying, murdering, two-time loser. Silence, Mr. Glenn. Mr. Stamphill, you are perilously close to contempt of this court. You will proceed with caution. Is that understood? Bad for temper. He's asking about Alabama. Who the fuck is that bitch? She's with me. Who the fuck are you? I'm her husband. Yeah. yeah. Well, that makes us practically related. <laughs> Grab a seat, boy. Grab yourself an egg roll. We got everything here from a little Joe to damn if I know. No thanks. <laughs> no thanks? What that mean? Hmm? I think you're too scared of eating. Hmm? Let's see. We're sitting down here, ready to negotiate. <laughs> You've already given up your shit. I'm still a mystery to you. But I know exactly where your white ass is coming from. See, if I ask if you want some dinner, and you grab the egg roll and start to try down, I said to myself, this motherfucker, he's carrying on like he ain't got a care in the world, and who knows? Maybe he don't. Maybe this fool's such a bad motherfucker. He don't got to worry about nothing. He just sit down watch my motherfucking TV. See? <laughs> You ain't even sat down yet. And that TV over there, since you've been in the room, is a woman with her breasts is hanging out. You ain't even bothered to look. You just been clacking me. I know I'm pretty. But I ain't as pretty as a couple of titties. <laughs> Ooh wee! This shot feels. <laughs> I'm not eating because I'm not hungry. I'm not sitting because I'm not staying. I ain't looking at the movie because I already seen it seven years ago. It's the Mac. Max Julian, Carol Speed, and Richard Pryor. I ain't scared of you. I just don't like you. And that envelope right there had some payoff money. Alabama's moving on to some greener pastures. We're not negotiating. I don't like to barter. It's in that envelope right there. It's for my peace of mind. My peace of mind is worth that much. Not one penny more. See, 